Hello everyone, for this tutorial we can continue from where we left over in which we are on the installation of Windows Server 2016 using VMware. So for tutorial today we shall now discuss on how to create users and roles in Windows Server 2016. And so before going ahead in this section we shall then now cover let's say we are going to begin with the installation and configuration of active directory then we shall now create the users, assign the user roles and then we shall now implement it. We shall then now implement it in which we shall now open a, a, another account and then try to log in with this user. We then create it and try to see if, if actually can log in to this Windows server and equally perform the roles, the roles that we defined for him. And so please pay attention, you're going to find this video a lot interesting and very helpful and hope it's going to help you equally create users and account. So without much use of time, we shall then go ahead and begin with our tutorials. Okay, so once you have already put on your system, let's say Windows Server 2016, in which we did the previous tutorial, so I shall just continue from here. And so, once you have already put on your system, like I said, you have to just go ahead and click on Add Roles and Features. For this, your Server Manager dashboard, as you can see. Here you have the dashboard, your local server, you have the all servers and the DNS functionality. So, go ahead and click on the Add Roles and Features. Once this Windows pop up, then now you have to now go ahead and configure it so just simply go ahead and click on next then you have either you are going to see a role base or feature based installation click on that and click on next then now click on select a server from the server pool and see click on next yeah you have to go ahead and click on the active directory domain services as you can see here that click on and click on add features then click on next make sure that net framework 4.6 feature is actually selected so you can see it is selected on mine the board of them are selected and click on next and proceed with your installation so click on next and make sure you highlight restart the destination cell automatically if required to select that and upset it then click on install and be patient here now like this it is now installing the active directory service on your system it can stay like to five minutes so you have to be patient you can take a cup of tea while waiting for that period i shall then post my video here onto the process finally install the active directory on my system okay so as you can see now like this it has already installed the feature that is the active directory feature on my system so go ahead and click on close this browser close it and then as you can see once you scroll up now like this you're going to see this signal up here click on that and promote this server to a domain controller so now be patient where it has now the deployment operations but before going there ahead i want you to understand something which as directory it contains the necessary operations in which we are is going to give us possibility to create now users and computers onto the system so that's very important for us first of all install active directory if you want to create users and assign their roles so let's proceed select add new forest then just type in a root domain name in which i shall give you my domain as tita dot local then click on next so from here henceforth just simply bring your mouse here from windows server then click on windows server 2012 r2 and even the domain function make sure you set it into windows 2012 r2 then the password go ahead and put a password and make sure that you have to meet the password requirement string for administration account so it has to be has a mixed combination of symbols and letters even capital letters if possible equally do the same thing here Then click on next and proceed. 
At this point, don't select this box, so go ahead and click on next and proceed. Now it is very found the BIOS name assigned to a domain. So be patient, it will soon be done. So here we are. It automatically detects the domain name we created in the beginning and assign it directly for you. And so remember, at that point you see the Twitter, the local we created, here is it assigned here. So click on here and click on next and proceed. So here we see these are the specified location of a database folder equal to the log files folder. So go ahead and leave it as default, don't adjust anything there. So this is the lo default location in which database folder shall be saved and the login folder shall be saved. So go ahead and click on next and proceed. See this is a script in which you can either go ahead and view it. You can go ahead and view the script here. Then you can simply copy this, copy this script and save it if you want to use it for later or if you want to go back to your changes so i'll go ahead and close this window and click on next and proceed now you have to be patient it's not detecting all the prerequisites check and so this it can stay for a little bit of period so be patient will soon be true so as you can see now all the prerequisites has been checked and successfully passed what you want to know for sure is that if actually you actually receive an error here, it means that you do not actually configure it very well and you do not click on restore, that is to restart the server when we see configure and access directory. So it's very important you pay attention very well so you are not going to have any mistake at this stage. So go ahead and click on install. And now like this, it will now take a short period of time to finally install this access directory domain services configuration in our system. So be patient, retrieve it, and it shall be true. So at this stage, you're going to now receive the signal in which you're about to be signed out. So it's going to now restart your system to finally install the Active Directory onto your computer. So be patient, retrieve it, and you're almost true. So as you can see, it is now applying the computer set. So as you can see, once, once the system is now restored, you can see your dashboard now open automatically and you can now verify that now that more roles and services are being installed in your system. Now you can see the number has now increased to 5. Okay. So go ahead and click on Tools. You can see here, you see Active Directory Users and Computers. Make sure you click on it. Then now you can see here uh, this your domain that you created. It's the local. I hope you remember when we were creating it. Then now just click on this and select users. Okay. Then click on the properties. Mm -hmm. You go down to new add user. From then now go ahead and insert the first name of the user. So I'll just begin and his last name then I'll use this as my user logon name go ahead and click on next then the password at this stage here you will see you can say either user must change his password or next logon. It means in this case, you as admin, you don't you don't want to actually discover the user password. It means that you want that anytime he logs in, you change his password, like for better security. Or if you go for a user cannot change his password, it means in this case, his password will not be more secure since you the admin you can actually have access to his password or password never changes, right? So just go ahead and or select this and click on next. This is a user logo name and click on finish. Then you can see the user has been created. Okay. So you can now click on this and refer the properties. From then now you can see now you can add all this in like his description, his office, telephone name, number, web page, 
you go under the account you will see this is a credential which you created that is the username that I created and you can go ahead and activate this account options like you can see here so either i can go ahead and say user must change his password and then log in i click on this it means every time i log in i must change my password i apply it and i click ok but if you select password never expire it means that this is going to use this password forever except if you undo by the settings i click on ok then at this stage now you have already created a user now it's time for us now to test this user and see if you can actually log in into another session so now i'll just go ahead and sign out since we already created our user account go ahead and sign out select windows then click on that administrator and sign out from here now just press control tickles there so send the control and sign out the other user just put a name that we created of the user so you will see this message in which the user password will be changed before signing in you click on ok so go ahead and put in the new password this is due to the setting we created i hope you remember so I go ahead and click on enter. So I receive my password has been changed. Then sign in. And so if you receive the message that your method you are trying to use isn't allowed for more info, content and network administrator, just follow me and see what I'm going to do to solve this problem. So you have to log in back onto your administrative account. So come back here and log in back as your administrative account. So when you're back, then when you're back to your administrative account, go ahead on your Windows and type local security policy. So click on it. Then go to local policies, user right and assessment. Then go ahead and select allow on locally. So click on properties. As you can see here, it is blocked. It means that we can't actually change it here. We're going to use a different way to work on that. So I will then end at this point for this session. Then we'll continue in the second part due to my video recorder limit I'm using. So please make sure you follow the next session. We shall then run out with this and I shall make it quickly for you to easily follow. And thanks for following this session. Please, I'm waiting for you to all join me in the second section.